The um, field in, um, in new drug development in NETS moves at a slower pace as in other tumors because uh, basically because uh, numbers are low so it's not a very common disease so it's, it's more difficult to do uh, uh, gather enough patients to do the appropriate trials but the field is moving and more and more we are able to do trials uh, faster there's a number of uh, an increasing number of uh, tyrosine kinase inhibitors angiogenesis inhibitors that are uh, uh, are being reported in, in, in small phase two studies that are showing promising results, and that includes uh, axitinib, includes uh, uh, pasopanib, in, includes also some new uh, sulfatinib, uh, cabozantinib, which is also, uh, uh, I mean, all these drugs have uh, are angiogenesis inhibitors, they all target VGFR, but each of them have different. Uh, uh, potency and affinity profile for the different receptors. For example, capocentinib also is targeting MET, which is involved in, in net progression and, and can uh, be involved in, in, um, uh, in, 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 in is associated also with a poor survival. And uh, some interesting preclinical data in, in net models have led to uh, this phase two study that was presented uh, last year in ASCO GI and, and we review this 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 ESMO, and uh, with very interesting results in terms of the PFS for pancreatic nets and for carcinoids. And uh, uh, of course, I, I, I think among all of them, the most striking is the uh, the uh, uh, angiogenesis inhibitor that is uh, for the first time being presented in this ESMO, and that is lenvatinib. Uh, this was performed also, it's also a, a, a investigator initiated trial that we conducted within the Getne group, the Spanish group, uh, with the collaboration of other European uh, countries too. And um, this is being presented uh, today uh, with really unprecedented results. I really must uh, 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 outstand Lenvatinib uh, results from the talent trial that included two main cohorts of patients, uh, uh, G1, G2, uh, pancreatic nets that have progressed on uh, a targeted agent, and uh, G1, G2, uh, GI nets that have progressed to somatostatin analogs. And uh, this uh, trial reports really unprecedented objective response rates for a TKI, which is 40% response rate for pancreatic nets, and 18% uh, uh, for GI nets. And so, so I'm sure this drug uh, and also some of the others that I just mentioned are going to be further developed and this has to be further developed in the field uh, to be incorporated uh, uh, hopefully soon as new standards of care for our patients. And then there are uh, other strategies that are also very interesting um, with antibody drug conjugates still in very early st uh, uh, state of, of development, but um, PEN221 is a very inter interesting antibody drug conjugate that combines a somatostatin analog with a DM1, a cytotoxic antimicrotubular agent. And so the somatostatin analog uh, is like the vehicle that you know brings the uh, drug to the uh, targeted cell that has the receptor of somatostatin in the cell surface. And upon uh, binding to the receptor, this uh, receptor is internalized and the, the cytotoxic DM1 released intracellular and leading, uh, leads to uh, uh, cell cycle arrest and apoptosis. So uh, it's a very interesting drug. We don't have much data yet, just a phase one dose escalating uh, a study that is planning on expanding uh, court in, in mid gut nets, in pancreatic nets, and these, these uh, results we await with great interest. And there's also another antibody drug conjugate, interesting for now for high grade uh, NECS, which is um, Roval Pituzuma. And this is um, a linking uh, DLL3, it's a notch ligand with a, a pyrrolo benzodiazepine dimer, which is the 
uh, uh, toxic uh, drug and uh, DL3 is overexpressed in in stem cells and tumor initiating cells in in small cell lung cancer in a high proportion and a high proportion of high grade uh, neuroendocrine carcinoma so that's uh, another interesting uh, uh, trial that is ongoing uh, that will uh, uh, we think soon can lead us some interesting results too and then there's a number of other uh, different strategies that uh, that, that uh, I think can be also um, this I mean uh, very important uh, um, which include bi-specific uh, antibodies uh, against for example uh, SST2 and CD3 to try to inflame these tumors because uh, low-grade tumor, neuroendocrine tumors generally are not uh, too, not, not very immunogenic. And, and then uh, uh, there's other, other molecules that are, um, there are also bites in, in development, also targeting DLL3 and CD3, which, uh, you know, we, we hope to be able to, to develop for our patients in the near future.